Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, how's it going today? I wanted to actually come on here today because my husband and I just got back from a trip to Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, and I thought, what better time would it be to sit down and chat with you all about actually how much we spent? Because I know a lot of you are wondering, how much does it cost to go to Walt Disney World these days? You know, you hear about all the prices going up around with everything, with groceries and gas and everything else. So like, can you even afford a trip to Walt Disney World in 2023? Well, I am going to run through everything. So stay tuned. And also I have three money saving tips that I'm going to share with you. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. Without further ado, let's get into it. My husband Alex and I just returned from a trip to Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Like I mentioned before, we were there for six nights and I vlogged the entire thing. So if you haven't checked out the vlogs already, make sure you go watch them. They're a lot of fun. I will link uh, them down below for you to uh, check those out. Let me just start by saying that uh, I am from Canada. I live in Canada. So the prices that you will be seeing are in Canadian. Well, I'll have them in US dollars, but then I'll also have them converted into Canadian. The exchange rate right now for Canadians is also terrible. It is such a struggle traveling right now on the Canadian dollar, pretty much anywhere you go. It's it's not, not the greatest exchange rate at the moment. I tracked everything. I kept all my receipts uh, and then I put it into a nice little Excel spreadsheet so we can run through everything and you can get a good idea of exactly what you might be spending on a trip. Keep in mind that it was just me and Alex, so only two adults. We don't have any kids at this at this time, so keep that in mind as well. I've got my laptop here, so I'm just gonna run through everything for you, starting with, okay. Starting with our flights, okay? So well, a little bit of background about the trip is originally it was just going to be me and I was going to be going with my sister and uh, her boys and just traveling with them, staying with them. Uh, and this was planned back in like 2020, for obvious reasons, it got pushed back, pushed back, and then eventually we decided to go in December of 2022, and it worked out that Alex was actually able to end up joining us. When I booked the flights, I decided to go with Air Canada because at the time, it was the most reliable airline. With the more budget airlines, we weren't sure if they were flying. You may be able to find cheaper flights. Typically, a good price out of at least my airport from Toronto, round trip is usually a good price is anywhere around the 300 um, if you find under 300 dollars uh, per person including taxes round trip that's an amazing price so for us for with air canada and also uh, paying for one check bag and choosing our seats uh, having seat selection on the way there our total came to 939 dollars and 19 cents now seat selection to me is important on the way down because i like to be at the front of the plane i want to be able to get off as soon as we're landing and not have to wait for the entire plane in front of us to deplane right because people are always you know getting up and taking forever to get their luggage out of the overhead you know all that stuff and like i just want to get out i want to get to where i'm going and i don't want to be dawdling and also with check bags it's a you know all the airlines now are charging more and more for bags it's so frustrating such an extra cost but you know make sure you um, factor that in if you are going to have check bags i know even some of the budget airlines even charge for carry-on luggage now so make sure you factor that into your costs as well other things you have to consider now for costs is transportation to and from the airport walt disney world used to include you know transportation airport transfers you know disney's magical express is what it used to be but now that's gone they got rid of that back in january 2022 it's sad because i loved those buses it was like you know an immediate way of getting into the disney magic you're getting on there they even even used to like pick up your luggage for you and then you'd have it delivered to your resort like that was amazing i don't know why they got rid of that there's there's a couple choices you can you can get from the airport but we decided to actually take an uber from the Orlando airport to our resort upon arrival. I just thought it would be, you know, the quickest way because I 
you do hear sometimes that the mirrors or even the bus transfers will stop at multiple resorts and you're not getting to where you need to go as quickly as possible. So the transportation total, it came to about $100 USD or about $140 Canadian at the end of the day. Now for our hotels, three nights Pop Century, three nights Old Key West. And what you'll notice is actually Old Key West came in significantly cheaper than Pop Century did. How, what, how? Like isn't Pop Century a value resort? Like what's going on? I will explain to you how I got a much cheaper price at Old Key West at the end of this video, that will be one of my money saving tips. The grand total then for our hotel stay came to just over $1,100 USD or $1,500 Canadian. So keep that in mind that depending on where you want to stay, it's going to vary greatly between value moderate or deluxe resorts, or even if you want to stay off site. We did book Pop Century directly with Disney. So there, I don't think there was any discounts or anything factored into to this cost here. And then park tickets. I bought my tickets a lot earlier than we bought um, the tickets for Alex. So they came to a little bit higher in cost than what Alex's did. For a four day base ticket for both of us, it came to just over a thousand US dollars or $1,300 uh, Canadian. In general, the park tickets are going to eat up a lot of um, your trip costs. And then the add-ons. Now these are extras that you can purchase, you know, if, if you want to. I ended up getting Magic Bands for both of us because, um, well, first of all, Magic Bands used to be included in the total cost. That's another thing that Disney decided to charge extra for. It's actually cheaper if you pre like pre-order them before you get to the resort rather than when you get there. And also you can actually get uh, a name engraved. Uh, you can put your real name, you can put a nickname, you can put whatever you want on the back and you put everything on there. You can have your tickets on there and then you have your room key and you can even link a credit card on there. So all you have to do is like tap your Magic band to pay for things so um yeah it was a really nice investment and at the end of the day that only cost us like an extra what 20 us dollars so i mean worth it in my opinion even though alex ended up losing his but you can watch how that happened in our vlogs uh so make sure you check that out too genie plus and lightning lane this has been a hot debate, uh, you know, whether or not it's worth it, whether or not you should pay extra. Now, again, we were only two adults. So for us to skip the lines and not have to wait an hour for each time was totally worth it. It was totally worth worth the cost for us. So the grand total for us, uh, it came to 127 US dollars or um, 175 Canadian. That in itself is basically an extra cost of one park day ticket for us it's worth it. Again, we're only two people, but once you get into like a bigger family or like a family of three, four, five, you know, six, you are going to be like, it's going to add a lot more money to your trip. We had some extra costs as well that may not always be a part of your trip. Excuse me. I just like I'm a little gassy today. For Instacart, we ended up spending around 100 US dollars. The other extra costs that you gotta think about are souvenirs and or gifts. We only spent around 180 US dollars on um, gifts and souvenirs. So total for extras was just uh, just under um, 300 dollars US, US and just under 400 dollars Canadian. So I mean, at the end of the day, not too bad. The last category where you're probably gonna be spending most of your money when you're in Walt Disney World is food. Now I know I did cover some of the food for the extras like Instacart, um, but that's like kind of groceries and stuff. But food on site at Walt Disney World can be pretty pricey, especially if you're going to be doing, you know, a lot of table service or like the fancier like sit down restaurants. Because we were staying on site, we decided to go get the refill refillable drink mugs, which were great. Again, it could have been used as like another souvenir. I think right now they cost about uh, $22. Keep in mind too, that because we got sick, we ended up having to cancel some of the other reservations that we had planned. So that ended up actually saving us money because we didn't eat that much. We couldn't eat really. So that kind of, you know, put a damper on the trip. But hey, we saved money. So, you know, <laughs> if you want to save money, get a stomach bug. The total cost for food that we spent was um, 741 US dollars. And that came in about just under a thousand uh, Canadian. So grand total what was the absolutely final cost of everything that we spent on this trip it was a grand total of five thousand five hundred and seventy six dollars and ninety six cents canadian that works out to about just over i think forty one hundred us dollars so 
That's for two adults, six nights, Walt Disney World, everything included. I'll leave that up to you to, you know, decide whether or not that's too expensive or it's, you know, reasonable. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. What are you budgeting for your trip? Is it worth it? Do you think Walt Disney World is pricing people out? I would like to hear from you. Now, if you think that is too expensive, let me tell you some ways that you can save money on your next trip. My first tip is directed towards all you Canadians out there, and that is to buy a Disney gift card before you leave. The benefit of using Disney gift cards at Disney parks and resorts is that there are absolutely no added fees. You get the actual exchange rate when using gift cards. If the dollar is at 80 cents at closing, you will get the full 80 cents on the dollar when you spend a gift card. No added fees, charges whatsoever, unlike credit cards which charge you an added fee on every transaction. Disney gift cards can be purchased in Canada at Walmart, Sobeys, Metro, Canadian Tire, No Frills, Shoppers Drug Mart, or Dollarama. Pretty much anywhere that sells gift cards. Remember how I mentioned that the total cost we paid to stay at Old Key West Resort was lower than Pop Century? Well, we managed to do this by renting DVC points or Disney Vacation Club points, which is Disney's version of a timeshare. You can either rent points directly from an owner or go through an agency such as DVC Rental Store or Dave's Vacation Club Rentals. I haven't personally used either of these agencies, but I have only heard good things about them. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out and get more information on the whole process. I would 100% do this again as it saved us hundreds of dollars. My last tip is to purchase your park tickets through a reliable discounted ticket reseller. The one we used was Undercover Tourist. I am not affiliated with them, this is not an ad, this is just my personal experience. You can save upwards of $20 to $30 per ticket, and sometimes they have deals like adults pay child prices. Those are my three money-saving tips. I hope they help you if you're really trying to save money and you really want to go, but you just think it's too expensive, you will end up finding that it is much more feasible than you might think. So that about wraps it up. I really hope that you did find this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.